understand host pool types there are two types of host pool the first one is personal host pool so this is one to one mapping in layman terms one machine one user multiple users cannot access that host pool at the same time only one user can access that session host at a time so this typically is used with non multi session operating systems like windows 7 8 or 10 the second type of host pool which is largely used in avd environment is pooled host pools so this is deployed with a, with a multi session operating system like a windows server or a windows 10 multi session a windows 10 multi session operating system is currently only available in azure multiple users can log on to the same session host at a time and the connections are distributed across the session hosts so this is good for you know uh, average workload or not too much workload a personal host pool on the other hand is required when the user workload demands uh, too much RAM or CPU or basically overall resources so that's when we use a personal host pool otherwise for normal or average workload pooled host pools are good enough to serve the users now let's talk about load balancing in pooled host pool we have two types of load balancing options in pooled host pool the first one is breadth first load balancing so breadth first load balancing distributes the connection to the session hosts equally the maximum number per session host can be set however it is not required so let's understand using a diagram how breadth first load balancing works so let's suppose we have this host pool in this host pool we have three session hosts below that we have a bunch of users who's trying to access these session hosts so if we have selected breadth first load balancing what will happen let's say that the first user is trying to access the session host let's say that it was able to log into the first session host now the next user tries to access the session host ideally it's a multi session operating system so the next user should also go to the first session host in the screen but since we have selected breadth first load balancing and its job is to distribute the load equally among the session host this will go to the next session host similarly we have one more session host that is empty it doesn't have a user session uh, user uh, logged in the next user will go to the third session host now we can see that the load is equally distributed if the next user now tries to access the session host it can go to any session host in the in the list because all three of them are already equally distributed similarly the next user will go to the next session host you can see that the two session hosts have equal load distributed let's suppose that there was another user and you guessed it right it will go to the third session host so that's how breadth first load balancing work basically it distributes the load equally among the session host the next load balancing option we have is depth first load balancing it's completely opposite of the breadth first approach so what happens is here we are required to set a maximum session uh, host in other words how many users can simultaneously log in to a session host so we need to set that limit second is depth first will fill the maximum number of connections on the session host before it goes to the next session host okay. so what will happen is let's suppose I have two virtual machines or session host and the maximum limit is four okay now until and unless the first virtual machine is filled with four uh, user sessions it will not redirect the traffic to the next session host or the virtual machine let's understand this by taking a diagram example 
again let's say that I have three session host in a host pool and the maximum limit is three so per session host I can only fill three users or only three users can log in to a particular session host the first user will access this host pool it will get connected to the first session host now let's suppose the next user is trying to access the session host or the host pool again it will try to fill the first session host before it moves to the next session host because we have selected the load balancing option as depth first the next user again will go to the first session host now we can see that the maximum limit is reached the next user will go to the next session host it will fill it out similarly the last user will move ahead with the next available session host so that's how depth first load balancing works